get a five minute break. Don't damage the cards. They're the big guys. Do you guys hear that? Yeah. 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 It's like a yeah. yeah. It's it's really weird. Where is it coming from? I don't know. What? What is oh, that? Oh my God. Hello agents, I'm Rob Johnson from NIMF Headquarters. We have a top secret mission for you. Two tubs of Plato-tonium have been stolen from a nuclear power station. We suspect three scientists are planning some sort of time travel experiment. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to crack the code Stark's laboratory, retrieve the Plato-tonium, and return here without being detected. As always, should you or any member of your NMI force be caught or killed, the Secretary will disavow all knowledge that you exist. This tape will self-destruct in five seconds. Good luck. Trench, what are you doing? We should have been out by now. It's not my fault I can't see anything. Kim, I need eyes. Working on it. 15 seconds. No pressure, Kim, but 60 second ET's toast. Toast? Burnt toast. Extra crispy. Not helpful, Agent Turbine. Okay, I should be live, right? Now. Okay, Trench, the vault decoder is behind you. About to get pieces. Negative, Trench. I need more time to crack the code. I repeat, you do not have clearance. 25 seconds, 24, 23! Trench, you need to go now! I need six more seconds! What do I do? Nothing! I'll do it myself! And just like that, the mission failed. And your whole team is captured behind enemy lines. What did I tell you? Burned. Cadet Cortez, you did good, but around here, good just isn't enough. What? Your undercover agent was three seconds away from cracking the vault code. What? No, no more buts, Cortez. Learn to trust your team or be prepared to lose them. After today's sloppy performance, this team is officially one strike away from no mission, impossible force, dismissal. Back to school, everyone! So can anyone have a successful career in acting? Not just in acting, but in literally anything. Someone tell me their number one goal for this year. Mark Wallenberg? I want to become a Beto memorizer. Perfect skill-based goal. Tristan Bailout, what do you think we could do to simplify this? In the next three months, I want to be able to memorize a two-minute monologue twice as fast. Excellent. Jennifer Standen, do you remember what's next? We use time to break the goal into smaller pieces. Right, and the last step, Mark? <gasps> I know, write down why the goal is so important. Exactly correct. So it should sound like this. Take out your notebooks. This month, I will learn a new monologue. I will practice every day and track my progress. 
By reaching this goal, I will reduce the amount of stress that comes from monologues, become a better actor, and potentially land more parts. Okay, that's the end of class for today. Next week, I'll be discussing the difference between Stella Adler and Uta Hagen. And I will be launching into a new series called Actor's Purpose. And that sums up the core difference between Stella Alder and Uta Hagen. When is Miss Darling going to be back? Yeah, Miss Casablanca. No offense, but class isn't as much fun when you teach. I know, kids. I miss Coach Darling also. Where is my darling anyway? No one knows. On a happier note, today we have a special guest, talent agent Susan Starmaker. Thank you, Miss Casablanca. Who's that? I don't know, but she looks suspicious. I'm Susan Starmaker, and I work for International Acting Talent Association. Jane Casawanka, didn't Maddie Darwin tell us the IATA was a total scam? That's enough, Mark Waldenberg. Maddie Darling isn't here. Let's just listen to what Susan Starmaker has to say. Thank you, Jane Casawanka. As I was saying, I work for IATA, where our mission is to make actors rich and famous. Sounds good to me. Good? Really? Too good to be true, that is. Through our organization, we have eliminated the need for practice, study, or acquiring talent of any kind. Now, who wants to be a star? First, I want to thank the other heads of the five families. Margaret Marker. New York, Demi Dushot, New Jersey, Sammy Slate from the Bronx, from Brooklyn, Frankie Fisher. How did things ever get so far between us? I don't know, but it seems that in the war among the families, we have all lost some more than others. It's true. I lost an agency. And Sammy Slate lost an agency. Of course, the friend among us has been bad for business, but how can I trust Tammy too shot? That's why I called this meeting here today. To see if the five acting scam families can find peace. You expect us to believe that you want peace, paparazzi, after he had everything, all those casting directors and casting agencies in his back pocket he refused to share. When did I refuse an accommodation? All the only here. When did I refuse? We all know paparazzi to be a man of his word. I say that we all hear him out. As you know, of anyone sitting here today, I have the most reasons not to trust paparazzi. Yet I'm here. For that Demi Dushot, I thank you. To all of you, I will now make you an offer you can't refuse. Sharon Starmaker? I present to you, Maddie Darling. What's going on? Where am I? Who's this clown? This clown was in possession of acting as my day job. Seven strategies to market and make money as an actor. Impossible. We burned every copy of that dreadfully helpful book years ago. Any rumor of that book is just a myth. Does this look like a myth to you? Good afternoon. 
Houston, this is your captain speaking with just a little flight information. One squeezy up the sauce left. We're going to be catching a glimpse of the Grand Canyon. We're flying at an altitude of 37,000 feet, and our airspeed is 400 miles. Can I get either of you a beverage? No, we're fine. Thank you. If you change your mind, we do have specialty drinks imported from Russia. In that case, we'll have the Moscow milk. Of what variety? Chocolate, of course. Sorry to intrude your location. It's fine. Inconvenient, but fine. What's the situation? It seems the local acting teacher, Matty Darling, has gone missing. You interrupted our vacation for a missing acting coach? Our sources believe Matty Darling was in possession of acting as my day job, seven strategies to market, and make money as an actor. I thought that book was a myth. Until three nights ago, so did we. Hannah? If the book does in fact exist, we believe the five acting scam families will be looking to sell it to the highest bidder as soon as possible. The International Acting Talent Association Gala. Precisely, but I must warn you, the IATA Gala is one of the most secure events on the planet. Thank you, Hannah. The five families will meet in the basement to a high stakes underground Pokemon. There's only one door in and out, and it will be heavily guarded, so your best option will be through an overhead air vent located directly above the Pokemon table, 30 feet high. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to retrieve the book and apprehend the scammers and rescue Matthew Darling. We're going to need a team. Of course. Wait. We have already assembled a team from your usual group. Agent Clara Davies. Is already undercover. Agent Jackie Hacker can hack into any security system. Agent Haley Williams will handle surveillance. Agent Getaway will cover transport. Agent Eden Hunt will be your point woman. As always, should you or any member of your enemy force be caught or killed, the secretary will disavow all knowledge that you exist. This tape will self destruct in five seconds. Good luck. You're gonna need it. Could you, could you not? Hello, actors. I am a casting director which means I'm the one who gets to decide which actors become rich and famous. But we were told that actors had to earn their roles through hard work. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Action on your monologues. To be or not to be. Think about that. Lime, lime, can someone get me a lime? To be or not to be? That is the question. So, what do you think? Best acting talent I've ever seen. 
And now, actors, we will be sending each of you down the path of fame and fortune. Oh, and nighty night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bug bugs bite. I don't feel so good. Are my eyes open? Cause I can't see anything. Where are we at, Davies? I'm in, but I don't see the target. Copy that. I see you. Move four steps back to the water machine. Okay, I'm in position. Now what? On the machine, there are two options, red and blue. Pour out some of the red. It's not working. Jackie, I need you to pull specs on that machine now. Audio and skip. All right, I got a cone cup. Walk me through the attacker. Okay, on the red side, there should be a button with a lock on it. Press and hold the lock while pouring the water. Careful, babies. That water is boiling hot. Okay, water poured. Perfect. And you get away, we need a distraction. germs all over me. Look at all the germ security person. That's that's gross. Go over there. We have hand sanitizer. Thanks so much, security person. Wow, what would I have done with with and call upstairs and inform them of this little incident. Yeah, that's fine, fine. Just get them out of here. You are a call, Pete. <sighs> get it? Got it. Good. That mission was carried out four years ago. By the No Mission Impossible Force Alpha Team. I heard in just that one mission, the team was able to save 300 hostages. 300 hostages? I heard they prevented nuclear war. <laughs> Plus, they apprehended the world's most wanted suspects. Yeah, yeah. They also helped an old lady cross the street, and they saved a stray dog. We've all heard the rumors. Perhaps you're right, Alex Cortez. Why don't you ask them yourself? Agent Getaway? Agent Clara Davies? Agent Jackie Hacker? Agent Haley Williams? Agent Eden Hunt! That's right, trainees. It's really us. We really are. Super awesome. And every crazy story you've heard about us is true. Except the real stories are 10 times crazier. We invite the Alpha team to this training facility each year to discuss how awesome they are. But this year, there's been a change of plans. That's right, Headmaster Q. Usually we'd spend all day on our awesomeness. And even then, barely scratch the surface of how truly awesome we are. But the truth is, we're actually on a mission right now. And we need your help. 
It's not a drill. This is everything you've been training for. Our mission commanders, Alyssa and Marissa Overwatch, are here to lay out the plan. Now, listen up team, we only get one shot at this. As the Stormmakers are now holding six hostages from the acting school. Our objective is straightforward. Rescue the hostages, retrieve the book, acting is my day job. Seven strategies to market and make money as an actor and expose the IATA acting scam network. Now, here's the plan. Almost to the rooftop gala. Opening jump patch now. Okay, jump now. Fly a plane often? <laughs> yes. First time for me. Well, you're doing great. Thank you. Cameras are active, surveillance is a go. Cortez and Hunt, you are good to head into the air deck. We won't be able to see you until you're in the room. Roger that. You ready? Born ready. I'm into the mainframe. Should have full control. Great job, Cold Breaker. Now, let's see about those security badges. How much further? I don't know. Keep moving. Help us! Help us, please! Help us! Perhaps now that we've captured your students, you'll be a little more willing to talk. <laughs> Let's go, Casa Wonka. Paparazzi wants to thank you personally for your help. Jane, Casa Wonka? How could you betray me like this? The scam money was just too good. Your problem, Maddie, darling, is you're always trying to help people. We'll be back in five minutes, and you better be ready to talk. Chench and Davies, get ready to move. We're ready and in position. How's it going with those security badges? Almost there. Give me a second. Are we there yet? No! Stop asking! Can you move? You're taking up the entire air vent. Girl. The chickens have left the roost. You've got 60 seconds. Moving now. Gonna need those badges. Thank you, Timmy Two Shot. Do the cards. Electra Vire. Beware. Green Ninja. All but 25 water. I see a 25 water. That raised 15 fat. Frankie Fisheye. You're a bet. I fall. That's 15 fire to you, Margaret Marker. Call. What about you, Don Rotti? Mm, me? I'm all in.
believe this belongs to you. You all are unbelievable. I have no idea how you do it. Sure you do, Miss Darling. That book you teach for applies to all professions. I've been applying the principles in our training for years. Really? Oh yeah, hard work, determination, and the will to never quit. It's the only way I know how to make spy my day job. Oh, this movie's so cheesy. Ah! Ah! Miss Darling, you still never told us how you, you were able to get the book in the first place. After what we've been through, I think we'll believe you. Come on, tell us. Okay, okay, fine. There was a big flash of light, and then some kid who claimed to be my great, great second cousin from the past named Marty McTimeflies handed me this book and said, a time traveling great, great second cousin? Yeah, right. Thus we'll never know the truth. Let's go, everyone. Where are you going? Back to the studio. I can't get them all the way down. This thing is weighing down my head. Retrieve the book. Wait, no, I messed up. Okay. You said it again because you laughed a little bit. Okay. messed it up. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Uh, line. So all pressure. Christopher. Chris. Christian. Wait, do I just go from my line now? What to do? Yay, me! What's <laughs> Oh my god, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm so confused. So what? Take one! Wait, wait. <laughs> wait, wait. Valley one! Who are you? Wait, that's cool.